Would you like to know how we get people their first cloud architect job when they have no experience? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs, and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Careers, an organization that's really dedicated towards building the most high performance cloud computing careers. We specialize in helping people get their first cloud architect jobs and first cloud engineer jobs, as well as getting people promoted in technology. I've spent the last two decades helping people build their best technology careers, and it all started about 25 years ago. I'll tell you my, my story, and I'll tell you why we're so successful at getting people their first cloud architect job, and how you can get your first cloud architect job with the right training, even when you have no work experience. And I'll give you several examples as well. But for me, it all started about 25 years ago. See, I was practicing internal medicine. I was an internal medicine nurse practitioner, and I loved what I did. But I loved tech more. I loved it. And I wanted to work in tech, so I did what everybody did. I got a bunch of certifications, six of them in fact, and no one cared because I had no degrees in tech or experience in tech. But I found a way. The first thing that I did is I called recruiters. I called 50 of them in fact, and I asked them, what are the characteristics in the absolute perfect network engineer? And they told me, I built a list. And then I looked where I was compared to what the perfect engineer was and said, I'm not that. I filled in those gaps and immediately went on my first job and got hired as a senior network engineer, not even as a network engineer. Since then, I've never been on an interview that I can think of where I didn't get hired. And I've been helping people get their first tech job and none of them needed to start at help desk or assist admin roles. They all started at the job they desired. So here's the secret. You need to know exactly what the job is that you desire, exactly that job. And you must put everything you have into achieving. In our cloud architect career development program, it is laser focused. We give the students absolutely all the critical things they need and absolutely nothing else. So it's just what they need. And by doing this, we can maximize our students' focus to the skills that will make them succeed at this job and not anybody else's. So we train with perfect practice in our program. In our live classes, we do architect work. For example, we design architectures just like an architect would do. We have students designing architectures, presenting them back to us, selling them to us just like they would do in the real job. Our students demonstrate the executive communication skills, the writing skills, the negotiation skills, the business acumen, and of course the architecture skills. We train exactly the way we work. So it's a combination of perfect practice. It's the exact opposite of certification, which are the name of a service and how to configure that service. They're like the icing on the cake. What we do is the actual cake. We train people for real life, the actual cake, and they get hired every time because they're very competent. When you focus on exactly your job skills in about 500 hours, which is our training program, you can get those skills that you need. But if you're busy spending your energy in a lot of different places, you become a jack of all trades, a master of none, and you won't have the skills for your career unless you've got years and years of experience. The first one is about developing competency. But competency is not enough when you have no experience. The second part of it is building your brand. At Go Cloud Careers, we are experts on marketing. We have three MBAs on staff with marketing backgrounds and experience. We know how to build a company's brand, a corporate brand, a personal brand, and a professional brand. And we also know what is the perfect brand of the cloud architect versus what is the perfect brand of the cloud engineer. And we train our students, we teach them how to leverage LinkedIn and other social media platforms and how to blog and how to write and how to promote themselves so they can build the perfect brand. Because when you've got a strong brand, you're more believable. So there's first competency and then it's brand. Now, the next thing is architects main job is to design, present and sell. And most people are focused on the tech when the reality is our world is focused on transformation and there is no digital transformation without sales and presentation skills. So let's talk about sales first. When you want to get a job and you have no experience like the cloud architect job, you got to sell the manager that you're it. So you need to be really good at squales, really persuasive to the hiring manager to show that when you have no experience, that you're competent uh, because you've had the right training and the right practice and you're ready to do the job. You've got to sell yourself into it. So you need your strong brand. 
your sales skills, and of course your competence. Next, you need to present yourself well. And on a Cloud Architect interview, you will have to deliver a presentation as a general rule. Part of that presentation is again sales. So you need to have excellent presentation skills. And I want you to think about this. On a job interview, how do they know if you're competent? You know, for Cloud Architects, we don't touch the technology. We design and present it and sell it. So there's no hands-on coding test for us. It's how we explain the technology. So your presentation skills are not only necessary to explain the technology on your interview, but you will have to deliver a presentation on most Cloud Architect interviews or Solution Architect interviews. So we train those presentation skills. Now, when you give a presentation, you can command the room or you can just give a presentation. I'll give you an example. BGP is a path vector routing protocol that uses TCP port 179. I talked, right? But we all fell asleep. Now, if I had a little executive presence and I could bring that to life, I'll be taken more seriously. Now, with executive presence, BGP is a path vector routing protocol that's used for interdomain routing. See, it feels different. So, we have to train our students on executive presence. Executive presence shows the leader and makes our students much more believable. Now, next, we train our students in emotional intelligence. Why do we do this? Well, for a couple reasons. If I told you that statistically speaking, emotional intelligence is the best predictor of your long-term career success, that's one of the reasons I do it. I could also tell you that emotional intelligence is, has a strong correlation with much higher salaries. I could also tell you that there's a strong statistical calculation that when people have much more emotional intelligence, they're more likely to get hired or promoted. So we train emotional intelligence. And why are we doing this? We're trying to build the perfect employee that the hiring manager can't not hire. So what else goes into getting hired? Likeability and social skills, because we hire who we like. So we train likability, social skills, body language, etc., with our students. We use tools from psychology, sociology, neuro-linguistic programming, cognitive behavior therapy, and ways to make our students themselves more likable. So as you can see, you can't just get a cloud job with no experience by just studying the tech. It's a package of everything, and that's why what we do at Go Cloud Careers, we are a total transformation of the person. So when you want to get your first job, you've got to be that perfect employee. Someone that the hiring manager can say, I need this person on my team. Last and most secret tip of the whole thing, when it comes down to an interview, 50% of your interview scores are related to your competency and the other 50% is related to these other factors that I told you. So become a great cloud architect to get your first cloud architect job. Make sure you've got a great degree of competency through training with perfect practice, real life work, not simple lab, labs that you'd see in a certification. Develop your brand and make it the perfect brand. That's how we got our students to be successful. Develop your sales skills. You'll need it for every part of the job as a cloud architect. And you'll need it to sell the hiring manager into getting you hired. Executive presence, you're gonna to have to have it or no one will take you seriously. Emotional intelligence, it's gonna help you connect with the hiring manager, establish rapport, get hired sooner and be more likable. Now these are not skills that can be taught by anyone. We've got over three MBAs on our staff with executive experience, marketing experience, presentation coaching experience. And we use our executives to teach our architects how to be executives and architects at the same time. And there you can see it. You can look at multiple examples on our YouTube channel. For example, you can see Daniel Bosa below, 21 years old, working as a cloud architect now. You can see Delroy Bat, 25 years old, now working as a cloud security architect. You can see Yvonne Tambo, this video on our YouTube channel. Fresh out of college, hired by AWS as a solutions architect. You can see Coyote on our YouTube channel, fresh out of school, hired as a solutions architect. I could give you example after example after example. And the point is, go out there and get your first cloud architect job. Go get your first solution architect job. Go get your first cloud engineer job. But make sure you have these skills. This is why we're so successful, and this is how you can be so successful too.